Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a time lapse video in After Effects. So first of all, gather all your images into one folder. Now here, I have 410 pictures from my Canon DSLR that I took using Magic Lantern. If you want to learn how to do that, go check out my previous video about Magic Lantern. What we're going to do is basically take all these photos and sequence them to make a time lapse. So open up After Effects, and I go to File, Import, File. Click the first image in your folder and check the camera raw sequence box. Now, if you're not shooting raw, this might say something different, but make sure to check this box so you don't end up with a bunch of photos, but instead end up with one sequence. Click import, and if you're shooting raw, this editor will pop up. Adjust the image to your liking, color grade it whatever way you want, and after you're satisfied, click OK. Now you should have an image sequence in your project. If you don't have an image sequence and you just have a bunch of pictures in your project, that means you forgot to check the box. So go back and fix that. But if you do have an image sequence, drag this to your timeline to make a new composition. Now depending on your image, the aspect ratio will most likely be different from the standard aspect ratio, which is 16 to 9. Go to Composition, Composition Settings, and adjust the width and height to whatever you want. If you want a 1080p time lapse, change the width and height to 1920 by 1080 but in this case, I'm going to make this composition an anamorphic aspect ratio of 1920 by 817. Also, make sure to uncheck the lock aspect ratio box before changing the aspect ratio. Now, you're also going to change the frame rate of the composition. I'm using 24 frames per second because I shot the time lapse knowing it's going to be 24 frames per second and also because that's the cinematic standard. Now, click OK. Depending on your image, your time lapse might look very zoomed in. This is because the image is bigger than the composition. To fix this, select your sequence and press S to bring up the scale option. Now turn this down until you have the size you want. Now the cool thing about this is that because the image is bigger than the composition, that means we can animate the position and scale to make it look like a moving time lapse. I'm going to make this time lapse start by looking slightly upwards towards the sky and slowly go down to focus on the tower. So I'm going to set my starting position by pressing P and clicking the stopwatch to add a keyframe in the beginning of the clip. Now go to the end of the clip and set an end position. That should automatically make a keyframe. So now the time lapse will slightly tilt from the top to the bottom. Now of course this is completely optional. If you don't want to animate the time lapse, that's up to you. Once you're satisfied with the result, make sure your work area is the same length as your clip. Then go to composition, add to render queue. Now what you want to export this to is completely up to you, but in this case, I'm going to export it to an mp4 file. The end result looks like this. And that's basically it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, or better yet, ask me on Twitter. But until next time, stay classy.